Survivor News. Chief White House Correspondent Jonathan Carl this morning. And John, let's start out with that poll. We just showed it. 33% uh, approval now for the president, all time low. And, and, and you see this happening as the president is now focusing solely and really on his core supporters, his hardcore Trump supporters, like with that immigration announcement yesterday. Yeah, he still is popular among Republicans, and this is clearly aimed at that base because, George, it is not based, is not aimed at actually passing something. That bill was first introduced by those two Republican senators back in February. It still doesn't have any other co-sponsors. I think that if that were brought up for a vote right now in the Senate, it would be lucky to get more than 30 votes, certainly no chance of actually passing. John, the poll we showed also showed that about 58 percent of Americans think the president tried to derail or obstruct the Russia investigation and these questions over Russia. One of the reasons the president really had no choice yesterday but to sign that bill that imposed sanctions on Russia. Yeah, he clearly didn't like it. That signing statement that he issued with it said it was had a number of provisions that were clearly unconstitutional. George, another reason he didn't have a choice is the numbers. L look at the numbers. That Russia sanctions bill passed 97 to 2 in the Senate, and it passed 419 to 3 in the House. Uh, if he had vetoed it, if he decided not to sign it, uh, clearly Congress could have overridden that veto. And they would have done that, no question about it. We are seeing some signs this week that General John Kelly, the new White House Chief of Staff, imposing uh, his control uh, over the White House. We, all, we, we read about that report that he's called the Attorney General Jeff Sessions, assuring him that his job is safe. Uh, yes, we know he did that. I, I'm also told that there's more order in the uh, in the West Wing in terms of meetings, the flow of information in and out of the Oval Office. And George, there have been some changes on the National Security Council. We've had now three departures uh, in recent days of people that had been brought into the National Security Council by Michael Flynn way back in the beginning of this administration. Uh, clearly, some changes there reflected by Kelly coming in. John Carl, thanks very much.